Okay, so in this video, what we're going to be talking about is uh, a couple different things, really. Uh, one is going to be like the use of a JSR and an input and output parameter or um, input parameter and return parameter. Um, then we're also going to be looking at the return side of that um, or the subroutine side of that is going to be the um, indirect addressing um, collecting that data and getting it back out of that subroutine. So um, therefore, um, in this case, um, what I've already done is, is basically selected uh, whether whatever product that uh, say the, that we want to run and then it will produce that product out uh, in the return side. So uh, real quick, I'll simulate that. Uh, what I'll do, and so I've, I've input one, we're going to be using parameter one or product one, and it's uh, the active parameter code is one. So uh, what that's doing is, again, this accepted product, accepted product entry right here, is being input into JSR as the uh, input it goes to. Well, what happens on the uh, the subroutine side is you have an input. You you make a subroutine and or you have the subroutine uh, instruction. Use the input and the input doesn't have to be the same tag. A lot of times, what people mis misconstrue and maybe don't understand about. Um, I guess parameter passing with JSRs is that the tag has to be the same. So if you look at it, the tag we're putting in the input tag is is called accepted underscore product entry. Now the tag we're loading into is called product code. The only thing that needs to be the same there is the data type. So the as long as the data data type matches, then you're perfectly fine. Um, as far as that, the, the, it's actually preferred that the two do not match as far as code per code or uh, tag per tag. Um, you know, 90%, I would say 99% of the time, you're never going to see that. So um, when this actually happens, this passes this one over here. So what happens is basically I have a small section of code where I'm using um, that product code as the ender and indirect address to look at an array to tell me what that array value has and then I'm loading it into product code running and then the return I'm run, um, the return parameter I'm, I'm, I'm sending is called product code running so then when it returns it returns the active product code again it's not the same tag but it is the same tag uh, data type so that's what's important here it's, it's not to understand that the, the tag should be the same. It should be that the tag uh, data type should be the same. So um, therefore, if I wanted to have product three, for instance. Oh, OK, so I got the uh, product one, two, two. I actually have a two in here. I'm sorry. So if you looked at this, I actually have a two in there. So I actually had the wrong value. Um, you notice it still did change. So it looked at the wrong value. Um, and again, that's throwing a three into here, a three into here, and searching out this indirect address, going to this portion, which is three, loading in that three, which is coming back into this three, and in, into the, the return parameter. So it's it's very, uh, the way I have it set up right now is, is you know, it's kind of, very clean and done done properly and um, as far as that goes you're going to see stuff like this uh, inputs and output parameters what I've done is I've, I've actually put this together and um, you know made this as far as uh, basically some sample code and you know just to show exactly what you know uh, how this is done I, I made this code for uh, a question that was done on my patreon account and my patreon member member group and we i answered it i did a, like a 20 24 minute video and i built the code in front of them and then i did another code i did another video ex and then simplified it like i did here so you get to see a lot more from that um, if you are interested in that check out the picture my patreon uh, members group i'll have it linked below but um not to uh, talk about that too much let's talk about the code a little bit more Again, it's very, very simple. 
Uh, I have hard code values in here loading it uh, each one of these depending upon which which product is selected uh, but basically just loading it into the accepted uh, product entry that accepted product entry is the input parameter in the JSR JSR is always on the uh, rung down here is AFI'd out that's just to let you know which uh, product code is being returned um, so this is not actually being used it's move instruction it's not being used at all so um, that's just to let you know what product code is being used so if I toggle th 6 right here it's going to come in it's going to load in a 6 right here it's going to produce a 6 out right here and then that's what that is all I'm doing is giving a representation of what that is down here similar to what I'm doing over here with the no operation I'm doing a JSR um, my, that's where I get my input I'm doing a return that's where I get my return parameter out so um, and this this of course is using the indirect addressing um, I have a whole series of indirect addressing um, videos on YouTube so um, they should be in their own uh, playlist so if you need to look at that just um, if you're not subscribed you can subscribe and check out my playlist and see the indirect addressing stuff um, in there as well um, this is again this is basically just a simple um, code to show the input and output parameter of a JSR and how to use it so again if you are um, actually interested in seeing more further um, a little bit more of how this code was built and how this all got uh, you know derived and how it came about and you might want to check out my patreon um, again I'll have it check uh, link below and that would be very helpful but again uh, I still wanted to give the people that support me on YouTube uh, you know the the code and, and let them see it and let them see exactly what's happening because a lot of you will understand completely what's happening here um, you know I'm just loading in a value and that value is getting put in the input parameter and then coming back and getting loaded out of that uh, uh, parameter and you know coming back being used outside so a lot of times they use these JSR inputs and output uh, parameters as uh, a way to um, basically modulus program they can use them like throughout the program for this for different functions but the same thing happened the internal code is the same so they use them everywhere um, that's so what a lot of OEMs do so I just for the reason I made this video is to show that and to give you a better understanding is this this is actually and I, I made this um, small uh, notepad right here is to say that in a JSR using JSR parameters the tags do not need to line up and in fact 99% of the cases they don't unless the tag scope is in program in the and uh, not in controller scope now that is very rare I will say that 99% of the time they are not lined up so uh, what is it uh, what you need to do is actually line up your data types therefore if the dent is is the input for the the um, subroutine then it needs to be a dent as the input to the subroutine okay so the same for the output a bull to a bull a dent to a dent or a reel to a reel or an int to an int or a cent to a cent meaning there are uh, data types that we primarily use with this being a bull a cent an int a dent and a reel right each one of these coincides with the uh, most common data types these are not limited to the data types that can be used but they are so often uh, you'll find a bunch of things that uh, have multiple inputs you do not have to use all the inputs you can just uh, if there's three inputs you can only choose to use one if you want to on the subroutine side you can only choose you can choose to use all three or just two uh, the return side I mean this is the same thing so I made this notepad to kind of show uh, a little bit of uh, information behind it as far as the indirect addressing stuff again if you're interested in that you can check out my playlist um, always subscribe to the channel and we'll be producing more videos and that way you keep up with everything coming out I do produce uh, pretty much weekly uh, so that does help you stay in the loop of you know learning and growing with programming so this is the reason I started it is to help people I fully uh, appreciate all the support from my YouTube channel all the people that are in my patreon and all the people that have, have been part of my uh, Udemy courses and stuff so Again, thank you for everything, and uh, again, I just wanted to give a quick video on uh, basically inputs and outputs. 
uh, parameters of a JSR. So hopefully you found that helpful and, um, you know, if you have any comments, just please leave them below and uh, feel free to check out the uh, Patreon stuff. Again, there's a lot of free stuff there, so don't feel like it's just paid content. There's a lot of free stuff there too as well. So use that as what you will. Um, again, I welcome you all comments and everything. If you have anything that, that you'd like to see more just in, and you're not part of Patreon, leave it below in the comments and I'll be glad to see if I can't uh, put something together for you. Okay, thank you and I hope everybody's having a good weekend.